1989 Mercedes SEL 300. 300 SEL. Uh, first registered in the UK in 1999, I do believe. Big old thing and white, this one. Body width wise, we'll start off with the bonnet. It's all nice and straight, but there is a few bits in the bonnet itself underneath the paintwork. I'm trying to get the camera to pick up. It's flat in split places as well. There's quite a few bits underneath the paintwork. <coughs> Excuse me there. A little bit of something going on on the swage down on the left hand side, but it is. There's, all the bits underneath the paint itself, good flat and polish might sort of worst case scenario, we've got to repaint the bonnet there. Depends how picky you are, but you can't see those bits underneath the paint there. The camera just picks it up there, you can see it in the light on the bonnet. As you come down the left hand side, the headlamps are all nice and clear, so the indicators, a little crack in that one there. Above the corners themselves, you can see where this strip's been colour coded, there's a few marks in there. But the corner itself is actually scuffed free, the chrome's all okay across the front end there you can see it's sticking out a little bit once the bump had taken off and realigning if that was mine to sort it out but big old bus to be cruising around in a few little marks and dings on the chrome work itself and the grill there there's a few little dings on the grill itself as we come round onto the driver's front wheel arch again it's all nice and straight there's a few little touch-ins and it wants a good old clean see that indicator there's got a bit of a crack in it once a good old clean this, with it being white, it kind of gets dirty quite easily. There's a few little marks on the wing top there. They're not dense, they're sort of staining in the paint and a few little touch-ins here and there on that. As you come down the driver's door, again, all nice and tidy. A few little touch-ins here and there, with it being sort of, it's like a flat white. Um, there's a few little marks here and there. The body kit's all okay, sort of lower half's all all right. Massive rear door that, come along the rear door, nice and straight, no dings or dents on there, again a few little touch-ins here and there on the rear door, as you come round the rear arch, no corrosion on the rear arch there, got a little bit of a mark here, and again a few more touch-ins here and there, there's a couple slightly worse ones next to the petrol cap, the roof itself is all straight, some surface scratching in the paint, I'd say a good wash and polish would make a, a massive difference on this. We've got a little bit of corrosion above the air driver's rear door. As we come round the bumper corner, on the right hand side, it's all scuff free, but the bumpers have been painted at some point in the life. They were a black, I would think, at some point on the corners. A few little marks, the chrome works all okay on the rear there. The rear light lenses are all nice and clear on both sides. Bumper sits nice and level. You can see where it's been touched in over the years. It's had the odd little touch in here and there. And I do believe it comes with that private registration plate. So that's on the car there. Got a funny badge on the back there. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Oh, it's an a, oh, an a, is that just known as the A badge? Somebody will tell us exactly what that is. You know, we're learning these things every day. No one's an expert in all cars. As you come across the boot lid, it's all nice and straight. A few little paint flakes and stone chips and little scratches here and there. No real delamination on the rear window, which is quite common for these old Mercs. As we work our way round onto the left-hand rear quarter. Again, all nice and tight, no corrosion coming through there. The rear quarter itself, all nice and straight. The arch is all right. It's got a few touch-ins again. On the arch where it's been touched you can see that little stone ship's been touched in again fairly straight down this side as well got a few little part and things i can see which i'll try and point out as we work our way down there's a little one there and another one on the passenger rear door but all in all nice and straight no corrosion on this side like the other side onto the passenger front door again a few little parking things here and there and then we've got a couple of little scrapes here that have been touched in uh, making it look worse because it's, it's quite dirty still behind the touch-ins. Just have a little look at the lower half there. All nice and tidy across there. Again, a few little dings on the wing and a few little scratches here. But overall, no major corrosion at all for one of these old Mercs. Like I say, good wash and uh, proper machine polish to get some of the ingrained dirt out of this would make a massive difference. Interior wise, 
Driver's door card's all okay. No major wear on there, no rips or tears. A little bit of wear on the handle, which you do get. The wood hasn't delaminated, which is nice. Grey carpet set throughout, all okay. The seat itself showing minimal wear. These Mercs never really wear that badly at all. The seat itself's all nice and tidy. Across the top of the dashboard again, is all nice and straight. The wood is all good. No delamination on the wood. The steel wheel hasn't gone sort of soft on the top, which they do do. Got a phone holder there as well. All the dials are nice and clear, easy to read. As you come across and go down the centre console, all nice and straight. No problems with that. There's a few little cracks in there. It's missing the head unit. Headline itself is lovely and clear and clean. Clear? Lovely and clean. Like I said, it's been a long day. Sorry, guys. All nice and clean across the top of the headline in there. Grey on grey on white. Into the driver's rear door again. Door cards nice and tidy. No nicks or tears in that at all. Carpet sets lovely and clean in the back. Rear bench, massive rear bench. is lovely and tidy. No rips or tears or anywhere at all really on there. All nice and straight. Doesn't smell damp or mouldy or anything like that. As we go into the boot now, we'll have a look in the boot. It's still got some corrosion on that little scuttle there, if you can see that. Which they do go on these Mercs into the boot there. You've got, oh, it looks like a hub centric spacer there. Just one. Uh, and a spare wheel is all there. Your triangle's there as well. Into the left hand rear. Again, all nice and tidy in there. As is that rear seat. A little bit of a mark there on the rear seat, but it's not a tear. It's sort of a more like a stain of some sort, but all nice and tidy in there. And passenger front again, nice and clean and tidy on the door card. Carpet sets all lovely and clean. The seat itself showed not a lot of wear again at all, really. There, a little bit of a scuff on this side here, and a little bit of a mark right there in the middle of the seat. Not really that noticeable. Got the engine bay now. This car was driven from us uh, from Lincoln uh, two days ago. I have noticed on cold, cold start up, it takes a while to crank over. It then fires up. You just let it tick over for a couple of seconds, sort of 30 seconds, and it's absolutely fine. But that's just on cold start up. I'll see if it's going to do it today. I'll get James to fire it up there. See what I mean? It takes a couple of seconds to turns over for a little bit. I'm kind of I'm glad it, I'm glad that's done. I'm glad that's done that there, because then you know what we mean. It took a while, you know, it, it turns over a few times and then it fires up. But it ticks over quite happy once it fires up. Oil pressure. We'll check that to see where that's sitting on this. Give it a little bit of a rev, it'll go straight off. That's what you want to see on these works. And there you have it, the 1989 Mercedes. 300 SEL